everyone, welcome. I've sure missed you. I know I've not done a video in a little while, and that's because I've been kind of, well, under the weather. I'm not sick, but I have had a severe knee injury uh, that has kept me kind of off my feet and slowed me down quite a bit. And just keeping up with orders and things has taken up most of my time. Uh, remaking, like for instance here, my uh, bison tallow soap, which I mentioned before I have to make a couple of times a week. But that being said, uh, this was an opportunity, I thought, for me to... I'm sitting, actually. I was able to get a stool so that I could sit to do some of these kind of tasks. And I thought I would review uh, Custom Craft Tools uh, Edge Mobile, which is a beveling tool for soaps. And I, like so many of you, have used a vegetable peeler. I also have a Lucite beveler and planer, which I really like. But each of those have their caveats, as does this tool, which I will get to. But what I do like about it is that it takes exactly the same amount off with every swipe of the tool. Where when I'm using a vegetable peeler, sometimes depending on how hard you press, you may take off an uneven amount. This has hard plastic, well, I think it's HDPE, uh, panels that prevent the soap from moving. So just the part, just the corner that's against the blade is trimmed. And it's exactly the same amount each time. And that blade is adjustable with a screw. And I will show you that at the end near the end of the video where I'll also show you how to take it apart and clean it because that is an important part of using this tool. And overall, I really like this. I do. I think that it does a really nice job. It, like I said, it's a very even amount that it takes off. These are imperfect bars. I, when I make soap, uh, especially these soaps, it is a very... Uh, rustic soap anyway. So cleaning off those sharp edges is something that I think is paramount to making it comfortable in the hand. And listen, you can smooth the sharp edges off your soap with just a washcloth. That's right. When your soap is still a little soft, uh, just take a soft cloth and just rub those corners and you can smooth the sharp edges off without taking away any soap. Uh, but if you're more into actually adding a bevel to your soap than a vegetable peeler or a tool such as this is one way to do that. Do I think that this tool is everything? Well, there are some design issues that I have with it. Overall, I really like this tool and will continue to use it. But one of the things that I have a problem with is that the... When you do shave it, the shavings come out sort of in your hand in a weird position, so you kind of have to open your hand up every now and then to let those drop off. Otherwise, it gets clogged up inside there. And uh, there's probably a better way to hold it, maybe, so that that doesn't happen. Um, maybe you could hold it at one end, but I like to have a good firm grip on it. That's just me and how I work. Um, but I did several hundred bars actually using this, and I was very pleased with it. But like I said, you do have to keep some things in mind. Uh, one thing in particular is that if your soap isn't really hard, it's going to leave, it can leave marks on your soap where those corners or where those edges rub against the sides of the soap as it's shaving the corner. So it can leave an impression or a scrape on your soap. So you do want to make sure that your soap is pretty hard. But I will say that I'm really glad that there are companies out there trying, that they are 
working to make our lives easier, right? Without us having to spend exorbitant amounts of money. Now we'll say tool does cost $41 US on the Custom Craft Tools website. And I'll put a link to that uh, in the description so that you can pick yourself up one if you so choose. Uh, but I am glad that companies like this are working to make our lives easier. Now, is this a necessity? Absolutely not. Like I said, you could use everything from a washcloth to a vegetable peeler to... There are a lot of tools out there. And I wanted to try this one because support those companies doing this kind of work. Because I know what it's like to be a maker and how much I appreciate the support others give me. So I want to support these companies that are doing the hard work uh, to make our lives easier. And I want to show you also how to disassemble it for cleaning. It's very easy. It's There's nothing to it. There is simply a thumb screw. You simply loosen that thumb screw and Use some kind of a tool. Uh, now, I grabbed these big tweezers because they were just laying there. I was using them in another project I was working on. You don't need anything like this. You can use any kind of a little tool just to slide the blade out and remove the little uh, uh, screw and plate. And that's it. That's all there is to taking it apart. There's the blade. And there's the little bar and the screw. And the next part is just cleaning it. And this is probably the easiest part. Uh, it is made of plastic, or HDPE plastic, high density polyethylene. Same thing milk bottles are made of and many soap mold products and other things that are on the market. So it's very easy to clean. I think this will last for a very long time. It has stainless steel screws through it, so it's not going to rust. The reason you remove the blade is that's a carbon steel blade and the blade can rust, so that's why you remove it. Uh, you can wipe it off with water or whatever, but make sure that you it is completely dried or even that you put oil on the blade to protect it. But other than that, it is very, very easy to use. There is just nothing to it. And reassembling it is just as easy. Now you're going to notice this blade has two sides to it. It has one side that has the bevel on it. So you want to make sure that that is the part that is facing outward when you drop it into the unit. You'll see what I mean after it's put together. Uh, now. I put the blade in first just to show you that the plate will not go in if you put the blade in first. <laughs> I've tried that. Uh, so you have to slide the blade out, then drop the plate in, and then put the screw back in. And that's really it. It is simple as can be. And I am just very pleased. Now, depending on where you slide the blade, you can actually affect how deep the bevel is. So if you slide it down a little way and then tighten the screw, you're going to get a smaller bevel. If you press the blade all the way down and then tighten the screw, you're going to get a much larger bevel. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you back soon. Goodbye. <laughs>